See, I want to quickly advise Mr. Evis. Sir, throughout this event, when a married man is talking, listen. Because you see, marriage, women don't have problem. You know why? When some people think marriage, marriage is not easy. It takes the grace of God. I have been married for years, so I have the right to advise him because he's just starting class one today. Sincerely. Because anybody that says marriage is easy, don't mind the man. Eh? The first man that God created in this world, Adam, was the only man that never paid bright price. Adam was the only man that never had a father-in-law, father and father mother-in-law, no in-law problem, yet he could not manage his own. So marriage is for men who have, who have wisdom. So if that man could not manage his own, could not control his wife, Man with no fee paid bribe, no gauge, no problem. You are not just to the name animals. So you know, say marriage, it says the grace of God. As at the time I go, I tell young people, especially bachelors, if you are a bachelor and you are here, forget your age. Don't let anybody push you into marriage. Take your time. Even though say you are 40. See, everybody, have, everybody we all have our own time. So, as at the time I got married, I was not ready for marriage. It was the elders in my church that actually pushed me into marriage. Because after each service, service go, we end like this, they will come and meet me. Young man, what are you still doing? You have money, get married. I got married when I was 19 years. They, they will begin to tell me their age, when they got married, their experiences. Ah, for my mind, I say, ah, no, it's not by force now. You know those elderly men? You say, ah, young man, what are you doing? Get married. One that called me one day after one service. He's a dick in my church. He's even here now, dick in chooks. He said, my son, come. You know when a, a dick in your church calls you my son, it means that he wants you to listen to him. He said, my son, come. Let me advise you. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, he that findeth a wife findeth good thing. You are the one to find. And he now explained to me, he said, the Bible says, and obtained favor from the Lord. If you need favor, marry. And at that time, I needed favor. That was how I got married. Oh, brothers and sisters, I saw favor. Ah, because of marriage, people were not kind to me. People were giving me money. Ah, see, see favor. E? Not like this marriage, be. How people were not taking you. Hey, please, I heard you're getting married. Take, send me your account number. Say, hey. Even people where I know, people were selfish where I know, were not giving me money. I say, see marriage, oh, see favor. As I got married throughout the honeymoon, see enjoyment. My wife was taking care of me like a baby, feeding me. At night, my wife would be asking me, what will you take for breakfast? I said, they never ever break. You don't they think like God. I was not putting on weight. I was the one now advising all the bachelor in my church. I said, my brother, get married. Look at me, I'm not fat. That was the only testimony I had. I'm not fat. I didn't know that I was in class one in marriage when the man is putting on weight. I didn't know and nobody told me. Everything changed when my wife took it. Because at the time I was not putting on weight, I was enjoying this. I say, hey, I like this marriage is sweet. Now no matter when I did primary six. I didn't know that marriage is in different stages with different challenges. I did not know. Everything changed when my wife took it. According to Apostle Paul, I became many things to my wife because of pregnancy. I became a houseboy, a messenger, a cleaner, a washer. Now, so my wife goes just the same message like small picking. That's why they run up and down. My wife became so lazy she could not do anything to pray. Save no problem. I mean, they help and pray. She knows if they pray to worship God is a project. She, she couldn't do anything. And you know, pregnant women for this country, food where you not get, now they hungry them. The one way you get, they no go chop. Oh. My wife started calling the things that be not as though they were. I want this. I want that. The things that, all those things, you, you cannot see them. I want Shawama Giza that say, hey, which one is Shawama Giza? He? My wife that say, hey, I, I want, throughout that pregnancy, I did not sleep. When she's asleep, I'm awake. When she's awake, I'm awake. I became like Ezekiel 317, son of man. I've made thee a watchman. I became a watchman. One day my wife said, eh, I want a uh, pepper soup, snake pepper soup. I could not think. So I just started looking for snake pepper soup, went to different restaurants. Do you have snake pepper soup? They said they don't get. <laughs> well, 
elderly woman called me, said, my son, come. He said, what do you want? I said, snake pepper soup. The woman said, no. Is your wife pregnant? I said, yes. She said, is, is it your first time? I said, no. I said, it's my first and the last time. Oh. Ah, oh God, thank you. First time where they sit, and they talk to people, they can't spray me. Oh God, thank you. All these, uh, our Benue laws. I don't they talk since beneath, beneath people, they hear, they no spray. See people from Benue. Benue. After Abuja. Ah, okay, sir. Eh, ah, Oba, talk by eh. Eh, eh, I talk am. I said, we got beneath people, they spray. We got Benue people. Benue. When they go consider, my brother, leave the money. Oh. I can't tell more. But thank you. They, they. Because when Benue people go, they think where they come from, the distance. Because if you want fly, say no direct flight. Fly reach Abuja, fly go Makodi. So now so it be. The woman said, Don't worry, go and buy the snake. I will help you do the pepper soup. I prepared everything. I brought it to where my wife was sitting. She said, I don't want again. Eh? You don't want the 22,000. He said, No, I did not say snail. It's the baby that wants it. I said, Snake pepper soup. I said, Where I want for see snake? This country where this snake they swallow money. The last snake, what we hear about now, 36 million is swallow. When last you see snake for your area? Politicians, they had, that they hide snake. So that he go help there. When last you see snake? If I want to provoke, my wife saying it's the baby. You know, they know how to lie on the baby. It's the baby that wants it. Hey, it's the baby. One midnight, two p uh, two a.m. She said, hey, I want pepper. So I said, hope is not snake or snake. He said, no. I, I, I said, we have, thank God, we have goat meat, chicken, fish. Which of them? She said, no, I want elephant pepper soup. When I provoke, I said, for what? He says, the baby. Hey, I said, let me address the baby. Because as the head of the home, when things are not going nowhere, address it. I said, baby, I know you can hear me. I'm your father. I said, this pregnancy will not exceed nine months. Because of you, I never sleep for nine months. If you try and exceed nine months, I will bring you out by myself. When it was nine months, the doctor we rushed my wife to the hospital. My wife gave birth. The doctor came out from the delivery. He wasn't smiling. I said, doctor, hope all is well. How's my wife? How's the baby? He said, it's fine. He said, it's baby girl. I said, ah, why are you not smiling? He said, I have five girls. I said, eh? Children are children, no. If you face what I don't face, anything will come at you, we thank God. I said, doctor, I've not slept for nine months because of this thing. Give me the baby, let me go home and sleep. I paid the bill as I got home. I didn't know that newborn baby, they don't sleep at night. I did not know. And nobody told me. My own, she will not only open her eyes, she will ensure that nobody is sleeping by crying. From 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., she's awake. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., when people, they go work, now that time she, they sleep. They said that my neighbor went to police station to report that our newborn baby does, does not allow them to sleep. Nigeria police, when they don't know their work, came to our home. They were advising us that we should take the baby to the village. That after 10 years, bring her back to Lagos. I said, Now nah, nah, Jesus, we born, where we go? They carry around. Now nah, Jesus, my wife said, I should calm down. I should not argue with the police. I, and when they left, my wife said, We have to use wisdom more. She sleeps, she disturbs at night, she sleeps during the day. I told my wife, I said, Deny her of that day's day sleep. That from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. denial. Don't let her sleep. My wife said, what do I do? I said, you sell the tape. They hold her eyelashes. Come on, forget. Make sure not close her eye. By 5 p.m., remove her. Make sure she sleep for night. My wife said she tried it two days because I was not around. He said it did not work. I told her, I said, okay, use rub. Use rub. Not put the rub inside her eye. I told her. I emphasized. I said, use rub. I said, just put it on her eyelashes. You know, fit closer. Since the cell tape, they remove. Rub no go come out. By 5 p.m., wash her eyes. She'll be forced to sleep at night. My wife said she had. I traveled. I was not around. You know, women are like David. David said, God spoke once. I heard God twice. That's what women be. Husband, go talk one thing. Another thing they go go do. Rob, rob. Now, nah, tell my wife, rob. I, I traveled. I came back. I saw crowd like this in front of my house. Now, me going to ask them, well, what happened? My wife don't burn again. They say, no, not the one where they burn before. What, what did happen? They say, go ask your Vasabi wife. You know when neighbor don't they tell you, go ask your, me say your wife no overdue. I met my, I said, what happened? And my wife said, actually, you know, you said I should use rub. I said, yes. And he said, eh, I looked for rub, I did not say. I said, you would have sent someone. He said, there was nobody for me to send. I told you to get me an answer. You did not get me an answer. I said, what did you not use? Who not not say, my wife had rub. My wife not see. My wife go use a bunny key. Then rub small picking. From that day till now, that baby is still looking unto Jesus, the author, and the finisher of our feet. 
Men kuna see what we men they cause for family. Then you say, that's so marriage be. Marriage, you go just get patient. Because everything is all about women. Marriage is all about taking care of your wife. Nobody takes care of you except God. Now you they provide. Be what? Head of the family. Head. Not be by authority, not responsibility. Because women know they don't drag head with you. They will tell you, you are the head. But men were never married. And then they say, man is the head. Men were married men. The devil they find, they want to remove the head, come out. Because now head, they carry lodo. Head. House rent, school fees, everything. Everything you just a sacrifice. I do, do, do. My wife just a complain. And you got this. You've not paid for this. You've not. I say, hey. I said, do you know? Hey, say, what is there to be the head? I said, what is there? Do you just be the head for one week. I gave her my head. I said, be the head. And she said, no problem. What is there? My wife be head for one week. Three days. Now she called me. I'm feeling medical. Please, so oh, I'm tired of this head, this responsibility. I said, no, now nah, you just say easy. You just say easy because women, they don't drag it to. They are just dead there. You see, marriage now, nah, now nah, nah, you become more humble. He? <laughs> there is no woman that does not humble his husband. Any man where they talk, say, my wife know they control me, not lie. No, see, if your wife knows they control you, me say they get another woman for outside where they control you. It's better make your wife where they has they control you. Anything, just do one. All the men, where your country say family, uh, the Edo family, the Groom's family, please, so, any family where you see, say, they say, since in marry my wife, they control them. It means say, they are living in peace. They know the quarrel. <laughs> Mona, lie, wife, control her more. 